Hey everybody, I'm Dan Tribley, health coach at Epic Functional Medicine, bringing you an epic quick tip today. And today I just wanna go over foam rolling. For those of you who are not familiar with foam rolling, this is an example of what one might look like. It's a big, hard packed cylinder foam. There's also a whole bunch of other kinds, such as a harder uh, packed foam ball and many others besides. Foam rolling is an amazing way to essentially give yourself an elbow deep um, massage of the body in the tight spots that stretching or other things aren't quite getting done for you. And you want to stretch after you foam roll, as important, but uh, foam rolling is just an amazing tool for recovery uh, to help with um, any kind of joint uh, discomfort, pain, tight uh, areas in the muscle tissue, etc. etc. Now, uh, to the tips. So, if you are newer to foam rolling, there's tons of videos out there. I encourage you to check them out. But there's two mistakes that are very, very prevalent in most videos I see out there. All right. <clears throat> Mistake number one is a lot of people when they foam roll, they just roll back and forth. They're just swaying back and forth, you know, going up and down their calf or whatever. Um, the whole point, the, really the effectiveness of foam rolling comes when you roll until you, to, in order to seek out tight spots in your muscle tissues. And then when you find that tight spot, what you need to do is sit on that spot. Or you could count to 10 to 15 seconds as an idea. So many people don't do that and so they miss on the full benefit of the foam rolling. Mistake number two, don't foam roll on areas that are not muscle tissue. A lot of people foam roll right on their IT band, uh, on kind of like shoulder bones, ankle bone, things like that. Make sure it's on the muscle tissue because we're going to loosen and stretch out muscle fibers or myofascial tissue, uh, not tissues or uh, structures of the body that are, uh, are not actually flexible, uh, like bones, ligaments, things like that. So, um, or sorry, not ligaments, but you know what I mean. So those are just the first, the two things I just wanted to cover today is roll until you find a tight spot and then sit on that spot. Um, and number two, uh, make sure you roll, uh, you foam roll on muscle tissues. So that's a quick tip for today. Hope it's helpful and insightful and we'll see you next time.